Well, we had seen, since we tested it initially with 90-some cancer patients, these people had a broad range of cancers. Uh, actually, we didn't have very many leukemic patients. We had some childhood leukemic patients, but uh, I don't have any real conclusions that I can draw from that. Uh, lymphomas is another type of soft cancer, definitely. We had good effects there, and actually one lady in Australia, uh, I, f I feel we kept we kept going for quite some time, and she she did pass away, but we're not sure if it was uh, from the complication of some of the previous chemotherapy that she had. Uh, melanomas, we've had one really dramatic case of, of melanoma with a, a patient in Oklahoma, but on the other hand, I've had some disappointing, uh, at least one disappointing case where a close friend of mine had melanoma and in spite of Pawpaw passed away. And uh, so uh, I'm not sure, and his wife has told me that she's not quite sure if he was really taking the Pawpaw as he was supposed to. So I'm not really sure it was a good t test case. And all of these cases that I can relate are where people are essentially volunteered to take this. And if they choose not to take it and don't tell anybody, you don't really know. It's not really a clinical study where someone's forcing them to take the medicine or forcing them to take the supplement.